Oh, okay, and we're back to siege for whatever reason. I don't know how come to us overlook this. Like this is actually ridiculous. But you can apparently fight the same guild. So yeah, uh, this time both of the hills are super strong. As you can see, the map is quite yellow at the moment. Uh, hopefully we're able to get second place. And for that, we're gonna need to sort of 1v1 red in a way. So I'll try to mostly attack red bases. No hate malicious, but uh, <laughs> we just need to not end up third. And yeah, let's go. Okay, this is the team. The strategy behind this is uh, he has Shushu Soul Link, so he will have permanent immune. So I can't really play much with debuffs. Uh, but my game plan here is I don't see any like high damage units and he's on Light Cleave. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch to Fire Cleave. I have uh, my Ramahan on Destroy, I believe, and we're gonna play for Destroy. Basically, this match will most likely end with the timer hitting zero, but if I have more HP destroyed, I will get the win. So this is pretty much the win condition I'm going for. Uh, he does trip, so I will try to kill, but there's a good chance I won't be able to. So in that case, I have a uh, big healing here, small healing here, and anti-crit. To not take any damage. Let's go. Okay, Mr. Kingy. So I'm personally gonna go for the front line, to be honest, as I will be able to destroy the most, how should we say, uh, the most amount of the HP that way by hitting multiple opponents. Again, really not going for the kill, really. Just gonna buff a lot of anti crit. Does a field block? Oh yeah, it's on on what's it called? On the uh, Colleen, and yeah, really simple. Just gonna hit it. I don't know if I should be maybe dodging that heal block. So far, I don't exactly need the HP. But yeah, the destruction is going pretty well. I would say. Maybe I should focus on Colleen actually, at least like silencing her so she doesn't heal block me. That way maybe my... You know what? Yeah, I would like a heal actually. <laughs> She's silenced right now. Oh, there we go. And we just full heal. Uh, one heal, as you can see, negates a minute of all his work. And yeah, his HP is destroyed by quite a bit. We're gonna destroy a bit of Colleen. Uh, to lower her healing. Gonna wait for the Yeti to drop uh, the heal block so I could heal him. Would be super nice. There we go. Maybe I can drop it as well. <laughs> Although I'm not worrying about dying, to be honest. Yeah, yeah, just so many buffs, so many debuffs. There we go, pop a heal for myself. Well, we can do ult actually. We heal him, but Tion will probably revive. Oh no, wow, the end, the end of life. So yeah, uh, this one is GG. I'm gonna leave in order and let's go to the next game. Okay, second battle. I need to take this tower out before uh, yellow team takes it. So for this one, again, four supports. This time I'm not going for destroy, although I could uh, because there is a dark Orbia. So I would either need a like full cleanse or Shushu to avoid her heal block. So the plan here is double assassin, quickly kill her, uh, Tion cannot revive summoner, so as long as Orbi is dead, this should be a free win. And I will try to spam uh, my first kill on Naomi manually, hopefully she has enough damage, she is on like a 300 crit damage build, and yeah, let's go. Okay, now the problem is, if he does manage to buff uh, that provoke quickly, Oh, he did manage to get a provoke really quickly up. Oh, that is not good. Oh, that is very not good. Because you see, the actually, if we kill him, and then we kill her, <laughs> the power of Naomi damage. Look at that. Are we going to one-shot her as well? Jesus, 50% HP. Beautiful. And yeah, apart from that, I just nuke her. Why not? There we go. Wait, what does she get endure from? Oh, this guy, right? Oh, wait, am I gonna die here? Wait, pause, 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 pause. Am I gonna die here? Oh, wow, I didn't expect this. Wait. Is that my Colleen? Please don't die. My friend. 
My friend, do not. Oh, above the shield, above the shield. <laughs> oh, wow, that was way too close. Holy, I didn't expect that. Shield, shield him, shield him. Oh, oh, barely. Barely. Come on, heal block. Damage. Come on. Colleen, where's the damage? Yo, uh, as I said, I'm the biggest Orbia hater in this game. And I'm gonna say, screw her, no Orbia, right? <laughs> nice. Let's go next one. Okay, so now the game plan is to take out base 10. Uh, that way we'll get connection back to this tower to get at least some points. Don't really want to touch red too much as they're not gaining points for that. And I mean, <laughs> I'll leave them one base at least, right? But yeah, we're gonna try to take this tower out. There's a nat 4 defense in the nat 5 tower for whatever reason. Probably just ran out of defenses. And then this thing, 800k, so we'll see how that works out. But we're gonna start with the easier one first. Uh, we're gonna go for this nat 4 defense. And I mean, my mate, you placed it in a nat, nat 5 defense, so you better expect me to take nat 5s as well. Nah, okay, of course I gotta get a fair fight, right? So the plan for this one is uh, it's a Wind Orbia, she will not be able to revive, so once Naomi goes for my backline, I think she will go, she should technically go for her, but she will most likely switch to one of the supports because of the element. Uh, as long as we kill her, it's gonna be a free win, he doesn't have too much damage. I know his summoner is probably on a more the damage build, but again, I have Shushu, I will switch her souling. There is no like heal block or anything like that, so it will be hopefully pretty easy. Okay, and let's see. Uh, I'm gonna try to spam the uh, nuke on my bulldozer. There we go. We took it out, and we can slowly just keep chipping away. Now we're gonna heal that guy. You know what, I'm gonna go for the Grego actually. He does have quite a bit of destroy, probably on Grego, right? Would be my guess. Although that guy is super squishy. So in, in fact, I'm gonna go a nuke on Mav. Then we're gonna go for a nuke on Chloe as soon as Shannon buffs and that invincibility drops. Come on, come on, I wanna one shot you. Pow, pow, oh come on. Wait, he got it again? Fair enough, fair enough. So we're gonna let him second skill, or first skill. There we go, we're gonna do another new... Wait, how often... The... Pause, hold up. How often is she buffing that immunity? Invincibility over there. Okay, kill her, come on, come on. 1%. There we go, okay. On the summon left, we one shot here. Come on, one more nuke, and GG. Okay, so before attacking, I actually have uh, this guy. He's the leader, I don't think. I have him in the friend list, so I kind of can peek at his stats a bit. So yeah, Tangi Kina on a little bit of crit damage. Beautiful, I see you are a fan of number four right here, right? Uh, you see three fours here, five fours here, but yeah. Uh, we can basically sort of make out on what to do, at least Kina-wise. We can uh, sort of know whether she is a more damage oriented or not and yeah super scary both 800,000 power oh yo 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 this is gonna be quite explosive okay i'm gonna try to find the team and we'll try it out okay so actually uh when you look at the defense it does have quite a few counters so first of all it doesn't have any strips so i could just soling shushu and go at it uh, the problem with that is there is like a lot of defense buffs, uh, there is gonna be shields, there's gonna be reflect damage. So I'm gonna go with a safe pick and just pick a Juno. Juno sort of like completely counters that team. Uh, and yeah, uh, we're gonna strip a lot. He's gonna be in the front line together with me. Both water element, that means the Siren will not be able to do anything. Uh, Hell for a little bit of healing and weaken attacks and she's just gonna destroy HP. Let's go! Okay, so I'm gonna go for the backline, why not? I'm gonna go back on it in just a little bit, just to group everyone up if possible. 
and there we go we can start doing a little bit of strips I'm gonna switch for that heal I'm gonna go for more strips and yeah just gonna strip honestly like not much other counter plays needed here I'll go for the side and why not I mean he's looking quite squishy to be honest uh, Juno is still looking pretty healthy nobody's there actually he has anti heal block oh but I do wanna just take him out the sooner I take out the Sardian the less trouble I will have uh, Juno do pop a heal please there we go thank you and we're gonna quickly at the Sardian is healing quite a bit that's annoying Sharon looks like she's dying but we're gonna deny that spell Okay, can you please kill the Sardian? Actually, what is the point of killing the Sardian if uh, he is gonna... Okay, let me group up, heal up a bit. Now what is there? I'm gonna keep the Sardian busy while my team deals with the rest. I don't see them really dying, to be honest. I mean, yeah, cool, Kumar cleansed it. Whatever, sure. Do pop a heal if possible, thank you. Oh, I would like to pop another heal right now. It's gonna be a bigger one. There we go. Gonna pop a little bit of strip. Yeah, again, sort of like a destroy heavy match. Gonna do a little bit of strip, a little bit of healing with that ultimate. Beautiful. I'm gonna go for the summoner now. Hopefully we're able to kill her off so she doesn't revive anymore, because it's super annoying. Strip that reflect. There we go. Strip that again. You are not allowed to get any buffs, my friend. Well, how often do you have that reflect? Bloody hell. You gotta heal. There we go. Strip more. You're gonna pop it up again. Come on. You have it? No, you don't. No, you don't. Nope. No reflect for you. No reflect for you, my friend. Okay, let's heal up a bit. I'm gonna pop an ult. Okay, he's being super annoying. Holy. I should still be able to win this, to be honest, though. Okay, uh, remove that. Oh my god, that's a reflect is insane. My unit died, but as long as I kill the summoner, please. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Jesus Christ, that reflect is annoying. <laughs> yeah, then I'll think about it. Probably the safer option was to go with Shush, right? Because that way he wouldn't be able to add any debuffs and I mean without any debuffs yeah there we go we won by time but damn that's quite a tough defense even without any strips and yeah for the stats Juno classic broken unit Jungle performing pretty well nice okay so this was a bit of a weird team uh, I'm going for Shushu because apart from uh, what's it called summoner's third skill there isn't any strip and even then I'm sort of praying on like if I am the fire element and he's wind he will have lower accuracy lower chance to strip if he does strip we'll see what happens if not I have four backline units I'm gonna be the main tank he doesn't have any damage as you can see three supports again we're gonna go for the destroy play I got three archers two of them are on destroy and we're basically trying to win buy higher hp by the end of the time and yeah uh, this is i think this is a point a lot of people miss when making our uh, defenses is that uh, a simple destroy set will completely uh win the battle for you yeah so we quickly buff up and yeah now that i have immunity uh there is quite literally no way i can lose apart from the summoner somehow landing a stun on me yeah not a stun, a, a what's it called? A heal bar, right? I can hit anyone, it doesn't really matter. I'm gonna hit her because she has the highest chance to screw me over by somehow applying heal block right after I get stripped. Even though I don't really see any chance of that happening. Seems like Shushu is dying for whatever reason. I don't know how, I'm not shooting her. I'm gonna, oh wow, I popped an ult on, beautiful. Look at that, Galaxy Brain Farmer, right? Somehow I killed him. And somehow I'm gonna kill the, ah, uh, the, uh, what's it called? This guy as well. Hmm, I wonder if the archers are actually doing decent damage. <laughs> I mean, the look at the destroy actually on the summoner. Yeah, I'm gonna go order here. The destroy is quite significant, you know? 
Oh, wait, 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 wait. He switched. Wait a minute. He can't do that? Wait, look at that. He's fire element now. He was wind when I start. Wait a minute. So do someone else switch midway? Hold up. That changes everything. That sort of makes all of the defenses really weak as well. Oh, interesting. Didn't know that can happen, but yeah, Archers. I mean, Sarah is dead. I'm, I don't know. <laughs> I need. I was desperate for an Archer, yeah? But yeah, uh, this was a relatively easy win, I suppose. Let's go next one. Well, in that case, we're gonna take a nearby tower. Um, there's five people here, have five attacks. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to take all of them. Uh, we're gonna start with the strongest one, I suppose, and move our way downward. So, any water and wind heavy, I'll have to go for something like a bit more hin wind heavy as well. Yeah, so it was going great for the first three picks, and then this happened, but <laughs> we're gonna try it out. I don't know. Uh, there's no attack buff, and I don't wanna bring attack buff of my own. He might strip the fire attack buff from uh, the cliff. But I'll try to not buff it too fast, but I don't know. Uh, the main goal here is really just strip the buffs. Uh, Dark Monkey destroys a lot of HP. She might do damage, I don't know. She's kind of meh. And he hopefully blocks beneficial effects so that they are easier to kill. And Adol has a lot more uh, work to do in order to strip it. Because he alone gives like 3 harmful effects. Uh, he will give 2. She doesn't, and she will give one, so I mean that's six harmful effects to go through. I don't know if I'm gonna win this, to be honest. I don't exactly have too many, like, good fire units. I didn't want to waste a Sarian just yet, although he would have been sort of a freer win. But yeah, let's see. Let's see what happens, to be honest. I'm not gonna buff third skill, actually, just yet. Wait for them to buff up. We strip, and then we just let the Dark Monkey... Go to work. Okay, so Panda, almost dead. Gonna do a quick heal. We're gonna let her heal me. Oh, no, looks like she healed. Uh, why am I silenced again? Okay, Panda, please be gone. Panda is not getting begun for some reason. Okay, Dark Monkey, go for round two, mate. Looks like they're not budging. There we go. That's it. Was a triple kill. Beautiful. And after that, yeah, let her heal up, order, GG. Well, let's check his stats, since he is the strongest guy. Yeah, very damage oriented cleave. Tornado. Ooh, tornado carry. Look at that zinc. Wait, wait, wait. Actually, beneficial. No, it's not beneficial, right? Successful harmful effects. Oh. Oh, actually, yeah, fair. He procs every turn. But yeah, not bad. Okay, and uh, the second strongest guy from the tower. This looks like a super like nuke heavy, but I mean, I'm just gonna take Ikaru. He's on destroy. He has a lot of damage. We try to kill Nadinha because she's like the only one that can actually kill me with a combo. Then we'll probably focus one of these two. And yeah, light and light cleave shouldn't do too much. I don't have any basic attacks. Camilla. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why she's there, to be honest. But yeah, we'll see. I could get surprised and get instantly one shot, but let's hope that doesn't happen, right? So I'm going for that. Uh, one shot her, Ikaru, please. Or at least we can attack. There we go. We take that out. Looks like I am gonna have a little bit of trouble here. We're gonna try to take him out. Wind doggo or water doggo, whatever. Okay, he's down. I'm gonna try to take Argen out. Ikaru, massive damage. And yeah, after that, I'm just gonna auto. No, you know what? I am not gonna auto. This looks scary. You never know, you know? You never know. Okay, Ikaru? Oh, uh, well, you're not doing a lot of damage against that guy. Or maybe I'll just go for. Yeah, I'm gonna go for her, Oblivion her, oh my gosh, I got him invincibility, of course. I'll get silence, at least. Okay, let's wait for the invincibility, Oblivion again. He doesn't have any clans or anything like that, and yeah, GG. There we go, let's pop Oblivion on you. I put my Aetna on 
8H set, but it's a max accuracy set just for the debuffs. And yeah, we took it out. Okay, and the third defense. This one is. I don't know. Um, three assassins. Mm, sure. So, my gameplay plan is basically two mana stun them and. After that, either provoke, either sleep them. Chao gonna do some damage, maybe. I don't know. I honestly have no clue how I'm gonna do damage, but my goal is to just prevent damage mostly. Uh, they're all gonna focus on Celia. She is on a pretty tanky set. She has a, quite a bit of resistance as well, so hopefully she resists at least the defense break, maybe. But yeah, just playing on my mummy, stunning them. After that. Provoke, Sleep, uh, AoE, Weaken Attack. They have a Heal Cleanse, but it's only one. And after that, it's gonna be them in a lot of trouble. So yeah, we, we just do some stuns, we just do some stuns. Classic. I do have a lot of debuffs, I'm not a big fan of that. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna disappear for a bit, my friends. I will go for a walk. We're gonna find some meaning in life. Uh, yeah. Please freeze, there we go. Oh, you know what? I am not a big fan of how my team is doing, actually. I'm gonna try to finally kill someone real quick. Can I get the old man down? Ooh, doesn't look like it, doesn't look like it. Please get the old man down. Oh, wow, he has... <sighs> Don't exactly wanna hit him, but he's gonna wake up regardless. So let's do it. There we go. He's finally down. Now I'm gonna try to focus on the bat a bit more. Oh, never mind. Everyone just died. And we're gonna. Oh, no. Wow, that was pretty scary. But if you're able to deal with that initial burst, uh, there's definitely a lot of counters to it. Maybe too many, actually. <laughs> yeah, my child looks like he's not doing too well. Oh, wait, he healed up. Oh, he gets stacks, right? Oh, I should have ulted with Chow, actually. I completely forgot he has an ult that can cleanse and all that, right? But yeah, apart from that... Uh, this Nikki is being super annoying. I will not lie. I would prefer... Okay, well, we're just gonna try to deal with... The Cleave, why not dot him out? I don't know. Doesn't have the damage to kill me, I think. I hope. The problem is there's only a minute. You know what? Uh, let's switch to fire. Let's try to destroy HP, heal up, silence, all that. There we go. Finally. Okay. A tough one. Uh, but it is done. Okay, so. Well, how is it called in English? P penultimate fight, right? <laughs> Whatever. Uh, this one double wind, double light. Uh, there's a Celia, so Annabelle instant pick, obviously, just to counter the CC. And apart from that, I think I'm just gonna destroy HP with the Scion, honestly. Double frontline with Galleon. Uh, I don't wanna bring too many buffs because Tiana will strip them either way. So, not bringing any strip, I think I can just out damage them with attack buff, defense break, uh, the silence damage. I should be okay in that regard. So I'm gonna go for uh, the little Argen just to distract them. I'm gonna let m the rest of my team just deal with other units. And yeah, should be pretty easy, I actually feel like. I'm gonna let Galleon do his attack. And we're gonna buff up again. I uh, might as well just kill Tian Lang, why not? I don't have too much healing, but I also wonder if I really need it. I would love to be woken up by someone. That I will not lie. You know what? I'll just focus on Argen. Uh, whenever he arrives, I'll just keep eliminating him. Oh boy. Well, I would like a heal now. Actually, I'll go for that. Annabelle, please. Don't be shy. Bring a heal. There we go. Thank you, good sir. Good friend. And Bob Ultimate. Should be able to kill Kina from here, even if she revives. Yep, and GG's. Okay, and the last defense. At this point, I'm really stretching the offenses here. It's my last one, but 
I took four uh, defenses, so I do want to finish up the tower. And yeah, let's try it out. I saw that the Juno is on 60qk, so most likely on Ruined actually. So I'm just gonna go for her instantly. Freeze everyone if possible. Just... Yeah, um... Yeah, I don't know what happened to the other units. I, don't, I didn't even see Istasarian. But what I can say is... Surprisingly, Juno survived until the very end. <laughs> but yeah, uh, sort of like unruined defense, but again, not many runes left, plus battle. And I wanted to get that solo tower. Uh, damage, not in half, of course. Even Dion, wait, did you guys do damage? 5k, 3k, Ju <laughs> 100, <laughs> sure. And that is it. So I took over the tower solo. There we go. I think we took over three towers, right? This one, this one, and this one. Defense is probably not doing too great. Yeah, no wins. Uh, but we did get 10 wins this siege. Beautiful. Love that. See you in the next one.